But now then, there are believed to be over a hundred billion stars in our universe, but from uh, most towns and cities, you look, you only see a handful of them. Yeah, as our astronomer Mark Thompson demonstrates, there is one dramatic way to improve the view. In the old days, night was dark. When the sun disappeared, a symphony of stars would illuminate the heavens. No wonder astronomers gazed in awe. But these days, we rarely experience the pitch black darkness that our ancestors once knew. I mean, look, we've got neon signs there. We've got lights coming out of the pub. And one of the worst offenders of them all, street lamps. This beacon of light pollution is what Britain looks like at night. It means 90% of us can't enjoy the full beauty of the stars anymore. On a clear night, our great-great-grandparents could have stood here, looked up at the sky and seen several hundreds of stars overhead. But thanks to progress, I'd now only be able to see about a dozen. Astronomers may not like them, but street lamps do have their uses. They can make it easier for pedestrians and drivers, and some feel they keep the streets safer at night. So what's the answer? I've come to Needham Market in Suffolk for an extraordinary trial run. Now you're doing something very special just for the one show tonight, aren't you? We are, Mark. We've uh, arranged to turn out all these lights for you around about midnight so that you can see the stars. Now that's pretty incredible stuff. Why are you doing that? Primarily to save uh, 600,000 pounds off our energy bill per annum. And we'll also save 4,000 tonnes of carbon. It's fantastic. That's great for stargazers because it gives us a, you know, a greater view of the sky. But are you worried that it's going to you know, up upset people in the village? Well, we know some people will be concerned that crime may increase, but evidence from other trials, crime, uh, in fact, uh, has actually dropped. It's dropped? Graffiti artists like to see what they're spraying on. <laughs> I'll probably regret saying that yeah, now. Yeah, probably so, will. But, You'll find your car's <laughs> being done on that. No, exactly. and, uh, and, and muggers like to see who they're, who they're going to attack. We'll be filming Needham's 450 street lamps going off with a starlight camera which can see in the dark. Eventually, the plan is for the big switch off to happen every night. We've got the mayor of Needham Market here as well. Indeed. What do you make of this big switch off? I think it's quite exciting actually. Hopefully there should not be too many issues because the system can be tailored actually to individual locations. The lights don't necessarily have to be turned off fully. They can be dimmed, so we will ensure that all residents feel quite happy and feel quite safe in the areas in which they live. I think a lot of people find the light reassuring, but personally I grew up in a rural area. I'm used to, to walking in the dark, so I don't think I would have a problem with it. I've brought along a sky quality meter which measures darkness, ranging from zero, pure light, to 25, which would be totally black. Um, so all I have to do is push this button, hold it up at the sky, you can see what we've gone, what we're like 18 and, and a bit. It's just 18 stuff. <laughs> Lord, it's a box that does stuff. OK, are we ready for countdown? Yeah. OK, let's start. 10, 9, 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow! It actually happened, and it's all gone dark. But it doesn't feel too bad. It's still hot. It's yeah, it still, is. It's not eerie. It's nice, isn't it? Really? Yeah. But no. Stars. But there's no stars. Oh. We just need some clear skies now to appreciate it. It's typical, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely typical. Oh, there's a gap. There's a gap. Oh, it's gone. It doesn't burn. There's a lot of bright ones there. Yeah, oh, there oh, oh, oh. Two. Two. Three. Three. Oh, my word. <laughs> And it's gone again. again. Ah. <laughs> so what does your little meter gauge well, tell us now? 18.7. Oh. So it's gone up by 0.7 lights things. So it's actually gone up quite a bit. How about a round of applause for the dark skies? Oh. Just, just a shame it's cloudy, really, isn't it? <laughs> Powering Britain's 7 million street lamps costs us £260 million a year. Maybe the time's come to let night be dark.
definitely think Mark's onto something there, don't I you? I think so. We should have a night right across Britain where everybody turns everything mm. off. Or, as yeah. you said, between three and four in the morning. We're but certainly after half past seven. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <after. laughs> See what I'm doing there, can't you? Now, Mark, you've brought the box that yes. does stuff along, with, as you said in that film. So what yes. stuff does it do? Well, it measures, get this, it measures magnitudes per square arc second. Sounds grand, oh. but it basically means it measures light and it turns it into a number so you can actually measure the brightness of the sky and you can use it to see how things are going, see if things are improving or not. Okay, okay. so what can look, stargazers it, out there expect to see then over the next few weeks? There are some exciting things to look for. If you look due west at, or just after sunset, so the sun's gone down the west, look due west, you can see Jupiter low on the horizon, that's a really bright planet. It will be in the twilight sky, but you can see Jupiter and then just above it is Mercury. Mercury is actually really hard to find because it's so small and so close to the sun. So we can see those two planets just after sunset uh -huh. for the next week. If you turn to your left about 10 o'clock in the evening, are you following me? Turn left <laughs> about 10, 10, 11 o'clock at night, turn left and face south, then you'll see Saturn just there um, in between south and east. And that's about halfway between the horizon and overhead, quite easy to find. If they haven't even got a little map like we've got there, are there different colours or anything? It doesn't like look that? like that in the sky, I'm thinking, no. with a ring around it. <laughs> yeah. Planets don't twinkle, stars do so okay. if you twinkle twinkle little star the old mm -hmm. nursery rhyme so if you find a planet that or if you fi see something that's not twinkling invariably that will be a planet it makes them easier to find right okay. now there's an epic anniversary coming up isn't there in the next yes yeah. there is 1961 12th of april 50 years ago is when yuri gagarin was launched aboard the vostok spacecraft um, i think he was in orbit for about 108 minutes around the earth at a height of just over 300 kilometers wow. he was an absolute hero to have done that no one had ever done it before. The f and is it true as well that the controls were actually strapped down, so he had no control? No, over the he didn't. We've done a lot of, I say we, done a lot of experimentation with weightlessness on dogs and, and animals, but had mm. no idea how humans would react to it. So, yeah, absolutely. It was all controlled by, by um, scientists on the Earth. Yeah. Um, there was an emergency code that he could have used had things gone wrong, but he had no control. He was, he was a passenger Amazing. on the way back. Mark. Incredible bravery. Yeah. I can't imagine just being the first person up with no Staggering. controls. But anyway, somebody else who's...